Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And in the continuing series that I've been doing on some of the updates with uh, the new High Sierra operating system and server 5.4, uh, one of the questions I've gotten a lot recently is on uh, where the uh, network home folders have gone. Uh, one of the things that uh, was available in the past is we had file sharing over here as a service in the sidebar, and inside file sharing I could designate certain folders as home folders for the server to use so that if you wanted to set up network home folders where the home folders actually reside on the server, you could do that so that users could then log into any Mac on your network and get their personal home folders to come up on the desktop. Well, obviously with the file sharing service gone, it's no longer available inside of the server application, and it's also not available in the file sharing service that's in system preferences uh, that I walked you through earlier on some of the file sharing, uh, sharing changes. So what I thought I'd do is a video to help you see where this is for those of you that are looking for it. Uh, again, as I do a, a regular series, it'll be in there as well, but I just wanted to do this update to show you where that's at. So where I am is I'm in the users area right now. So you want to go to the accounts area of the server. And when you go into the user, let's say I'm going to select uh, this particular user here, and I'll just double click to edit. Right here where it says home folders, normally I would set up in file sharing a folder for home folders, and then I would come in here and select that home folder. Well, now when I hit this drop down, you'll notice I've got two new options here. I've got an option for new network home folder and manage network home folders. So I can set up a brand new one or manage the ones that I've got either way. If I select new, what you'll see is I get this drop down which will show me any connected drives, any drives that I have connected to the server where I can then set up a home folder wherever I want to set that up. Let me just go ahead and cancel that. Or what I can do is I can also manage my network home folders in here and I get this drop down where now I can hit the plus and choose where to add an actual network home folder. So uh, in our case I'll just go ahead and say um, I'll add it, uh, let's see, Let's just say I want to add it on here. Again, I've got this other attached drive. If I want to add a new folder in here, I can just say new folder and I'll name it. And let's just call it home folders for right now. And we're going to go ahead and say create. And so I know I've added this new home folders area here. I can say, I can select it now and say choose. And so now that is a network home folder that I have available for these home folders to reside. And I can choose how to share that. I can share it by SMB or by AFP. Uh, and again, uh, the SMB protocol is the direction that Apple is going. And so uh, you may want to use that right away to get used to it. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could still use the older AFP, uh, Apple File Sharing Protocol, uh, if you wanted to as well. But I can set how I want to share it. And then once I say done, then that now is a home folder that's available for me to put and set up for each of my different users. So that's how you would manage that. Again, it, it was moved, and so I had a lot of people confused. Um, some of you have been using my older series uh, for Sierra Server to set up your server, and you're wondering, okay, where are these network home folders because they're not available anymore now that file sharing is gone. And so that's how you access them and get a hold of them. So again, hopefully that's helpful in your own setup. Uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to do some of these videos up front this time on the changes because there have been significant changes that uh, if you upgrade they're going to mess you up and I didn't want you to wait later into the series to find those things. I want to get those out to you early so that you knew uh, where they were and how to work with them as opposed to waiting for me to go through the entire series to then uncover these. So hopefully that helps you get started with that. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.